Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I am at uh, Bernie Lake. It's like a little lake uh, in Bernie, Texas, which is about 30 minutes from me. Um, it is a weekday. I dropped my kids off at school. Um, that, you know, my daughter just started kindergarten, so this is a first for me. I'm pretty excited to be able to actually fish during the weekdays. Um, we're finally not sick anymore. We've been sick pretty much every single week since we since my daughter started school. It's just what happens when you got kindergarten kindergartners. Anyway, I am out. Um, it's uh, it's almost eight o'clock, not quite. I dropped the kids off at seven at school and just got here. Today I've got a five weight Risen's. Uh, uh, gear I told you guys many times. It's great stuff for the price. So um, Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start fishing with a popper uh, In the early morning here, and then I might switch to something a little a little deeper sinking. So I'm gonna get out there. I don't know how freaky this is to you guys, but holy moly look at all these spiders all clumped together Daddy long leg kind of looking things How creepy Oh. oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. I'm not like it. I doubt there's anything. Usually at these little piers, there's nothing, but anyway. Whoa. It's moving quite a bit. More than I thought it would. All right. By the way, this is that little popper I tied a couple weeks ago on video. Actually, I mean, I tied it a couple weeks ago. I think uh, it's coming out. Maybe it already came out last week. Once this comes out, I'm not sure exactly. I've got a time frame on my videos that hard to hard to say when. See how that really spits a lot of water, makes a popping sound. Some fish on the surface over there. I'm not sure I can get out that far though. That's pretty far. I mean, I'd have to throw the entire part of my line. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> no. That's about my distance right there. I mean, it's not terribly far. Wish I was a little better at casting, honestly. There are all these spider lip webs all over my legs. <sighs> Hello. And hear that. That's why they call it a popper. So here's another <sighs> here. I'm seeing some fish hitting the surface close in here. So I might just walk the bank here. Bunch of little bass. Now I got the pier behind me here. Oh. Already got picked up. As soon as it hit the water. That's hilarious. Didn't even pop it. There we go. Whoops. What do I got going on here? things I think just hitting it let's move down a little looks like there's some hitting the surface over there a 
How's it going, man? I, this is the first time I've fished it. I've only been here maybe like 15 casts, so. Oh, okay. I so. A few bass here, but Did you? Nothing, not a hog or anything. Five in the morning, like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, got, I had to wait till I dropped my kids off at school, and then. Well, we got some chanting going on here. Be switching to something other than a popper here in a second. There's a big bag, not big, but be something. So I switched over to a game changer. Oh, I already got a little hit. They just weren't coming up for the popper yet. Or not yet, I mean, they, they just didn't seem like they wanted it. Fire Tiger might not be the coloration that they want. I can roll cast that much easier than a popper. It's less wind resistant. Look at how that moves. So nice. Yeah, I'm seeing some rocks in the water over here. It's less weeds. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that almost fell. Anyway, let's see if we can't get one coming out of the rocks. Sometimes they'll hide in there. Any structure, really. Oh, yeah. Good size one followed it. Couldn't get an actual bite from it. Alright. Dang it. They keep following it, but can't get them to.
met. Had a couple small followers right on this spot, so we'll see. I don't think. That, did I just get a bite? And miss it? <laughs> this is all white with the chartreuse tail. It's a feathered game changer. That doesn't look like much out of the water. But I don't know if you can see that. It looks just like a fish. And that tail moves. Looks really good in the water. So. Let's get a little further. get that to sink. I think it's pretty deep right out there. A little bit of weight to these. Not a lot. The hook itself has a little weight. And then I put a little bit of um, non-lead wire. I mean it is it's like lead wire but it's just doesn't have lead in it to keel it to keep it down so um, Keep that hook point down otherwise it, it, it'll want to spin a little bit if I don't do that um, especially with faster strips now what I'm doing here wouldn't do that the weight of the, the hook bend there would actually take care of what it would need but, but if someone's doing really fast like you know that kind of strips sometimes it can flip on you and so that weight keeps that from happening. But as you can see, that stays to point down, which is what you want with this. All right, let's see. Let's keep walking. Let's get out to that. I'm going to walk along this, see if there's anything as I walk. The battery I went to pull out and the whole thing popped off that I can actually grip it with to pull out. So now it's jammed in there in my camera. Ugh, I'm not sure I can film anymore. All right, guys, I just got picked up right here. I don't think it was anything really big, but, and by the way, the camera is working just for a little longer. I got a little battery left on this one. Hopefully, I can land something, but I, I I saw it come up and bite. It wasn't anything real big, so I missed it, but hey, it's something. At least I didn't get skunked, but unfortunately, I did. I missed it. Oh, big one. Come on, come on, come on. huge but like definitely definitely a nice bass probably a from what looks like it about a one or two pounder so oh my goodness oh I lost it yeah Little sunfish. Oh, sorry, little guy. Let's get you back in the water. Oh, did you make it? There we go. <laughs> he got himself back in. Battery just keeps dying about 10 seconds after filming. So, as I had said, this came loose. So, you can see the glue is coming loose and it's causing this to be too fat. So, it swelled inside the camera. And then when I went to pull it out, it just ripped out. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I did just did an update on this thing and 
I don't know if maybe that's the issue, but I was able to pull this little corner up of this thing and then grab it with pliers and pull it out, but I don't know if that update did anything that keeps it from overheating um, or stops the overheating from happening. Sometimes it'll shut down, at least it used to, when it would start overheating and maybe it didn't and then that caused the swelling, so I'm not sure. But now I got a new battery in there. Let's hope it doesn't happen to this one. I'm gonna get this uh, off to GoPro to talk to them about it because that's, that's not good. We're all casting along the bank here. Probably just gonna pick up a small little fish if I catch anything. Did have one hit. A good one actually, just a second ago. And I'm pretty sure they're seeing me before I see them. I'm just gonna head home. I'm just not catching anything right now. It's now almost, it's like 11.30. And so sun's up high. Uh, fish aren't biting except for the small little sunfish, so. It's a nice lake, it's a beautiful lake, so hopefully uh, at one point, maybe I can get here early on a weekend, super early, and maybe I can catch at one point. You know, it was a fun day, uh, even though I didn't catch anything, it was just good being out. I, I never get to get out and fish while, you know, on the, on the weekdays because of the kids. I, I work from home and uh, I, my daughter just started kindergarten, she had never gone to school before, so I've always been there watching her during the daytime. Uh, while I'm trying to work and uh, you know, I can't get out and fish which is fine and all but it's nice actually I Feel a little bit of freedom here to be able to get out and fish. So I'm gonna try to do this more <clears throat> You guys will see me fish a little more often here now. Uh, of course, I can't go to really crazy spots because I have to be able to park close and I have to be in good cell phone service and I can't be too far from my house because if they call me and my, let's say, my son gets sick or my daughter gets sick and I have to pick them up, I can't be two hours away. Um, it's just how it is. So um, I'm gonna try to find some spots close and around San Antonio. Uh, this is about a 30 minute drive, uh, but I'm parked really close. It's not that difficult to jump in the car really quick and then I'm there within a half hour. I think that's plenty of time to pick up your kid if they're sick from school. So um, most people, have to get out of their job or whatever it may be you know so I'm gonna do this you guys let me know if there's any spots you recommend close by in San Antonio that I can park pretty close I don't have to wait too far in a river to be able to catch fish um, let me know if you like the rod that I fished with today it's called the Genesis from Risen Fly it's only a hundred dollars for that rod and the reel I think is only like a hundred and 70 or so it actually is one of their more higher end reels they do have $100 reels as well so for under $200 you can get a really good setup honestly it's one of my favorites that thing casts like a dream it's super smooth super buttery super nice it's stiff enough to be able to get out there far enough but it's also not overly stiff where you know you feel like you're you're um, uh, you know casting a broomstick you know you've got you've got a little play to it so that's good Definitely check that out. Um, best of all, you guys get a discount just for being my subscribers. So type in McFly at checkout and you'll get 15% off on top of their already great prices. So honestly, under $200, you get after tax even, you get a really nice setup. So check that out. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.